and welcome, graduating class of 2020. My name is Dr. Dina McCaffrey, President-Elect at Jefferson College, and on behalf of the Board of Trustees, the faculty, staff, and administration, I want to welcome you to this very special 55th Annual Commencement Ceremony for Jefferson College. Though we are not able to celebrate your accomplishments collectively at this time, we hope that this virtual ceremony will provide a memorable way to mark your graduation from Jefferson College. As you know all too well, this spring has been marked by uncertainty and unexpected events. Although these circumstances have caused everyone to adapt to new ways of life and to think about our respective roles in creating a better society, as our students, you are to be commended for your determination, flexibility, hard work, and resilience. As we begin our virtual ceremony, we would like to acknowledge those in the class of 2020 who are military personnel, veterans of the United States Armed Forces, or those who are working on the front lines in a public service capacity. We appreciate your sacrifice, and we are proud you have chosen Jefferson College as the place to continue your education. We honor you, we thank you, and we congratulate you on your success. We would like to recognize all military personnel, veterans, and public service employees who are family members, loved ones, or are among the college's faculty and staff. Thank you for all you do to serve our country. Finally, we would like to extend a special welcome to the families of our graduates. College students require considerable support, and the college recognizes that without the encouragement and sacrifices of family members, our students will not have achieved all that they have. So thank you if you are a parent, grandparent, brother, sister, aunt, uncle, spouse, child, or other relative of a Jefferson College graduate. Now it is my pleasure to introduce to you Jefferson College President, Dr. Ray Comiskey. After more than a decade of service to the college and our surrounding community, Dr. Comiskey is preparing to retire at the end of this month as the second longest serving president in Jefferson College history. Under his leadership, the college has achieved many significant accomplishments. Among them are the college's attainment of full reaccreditation from the Higher Learning Commission, the completion of a $5 million renovation to the Hillsborough Campus Library, the implementation of a long-range strategic planning process, the creation of several healthcare-related training programs, and the expansion of early college opportunities for high school students. So without further delay, I'm proud to welcome my predecessor, Dr. Ray Comiskey. Thank you, Dina. During my 11-year tenure at Jefferson College, I've been surrounded by incredible, passionate, committed people. Together, we have achieved some remarkable things as one of Missouri's leading community colleges. Today's focus is not on me, however. It's on our amazing graduates. Let me tell you a little more about the class of 2020. This year, we are awarding 757 associate degrees and 92 technical certificates for a total of 849 diplomas. Of this amount, 510, or about 60%, are receiving a baccalaureate-oriented associate degree, and 339 are receiving a technical certificate or an applied science degree. Our oldest graduate this year is 64 years old, and our youngest graduate is 16. 48 students are earning their associate degree and their high school diploma at the same time. 161 students are Phi Theta Kappa honor graduates, 35 students are honors program graduates, and 28 students are earning their certificates with distinction. 284, or about 33% of our students, are graduating with honors. This includes 160 who are earning their degrees with cum laude honors, 65 who are earning their degrees with magna cum laude honors, and 27 who are earning their degrees with summa cum laude honors. To give credit to our students is also to give credit to the dedicated faculty and staff who have prepared and challenged each of you to be competitive in the classroom and on the athletic field. Thank you for your talents, passion, and commitment to helping students succeed. You are our greatest treasure. I would also like to acknowledge three of our outstanding faculty who have been honored for their excellence during this academic year. They include Vivian Aubuchon, recipient of the Governor's Award for Excellence in Teaching, Carlene Charlie Roberts, recipient of the Emerson Electric Award for Teaching Excellence, and Lindsay Steighorse, Phi Theta Kappa Teacher of the Year. Additionally, I would like to acknowledge a number of faculty and staff who have or will retire at the end of this academic year. They include Terry Friedmeier, Barbara Haynes, 
Brian Herrick, David McNair, Sandy Napier, Tammy Patterson, and Nancy Wright. We sincerely thank you for your service to Jefferson College. And now, for the reason we're here. To acknowledge those who are earning their certificates or associate degrees, including the Associate of Applied Science, Associate of Arts, Associate of Arts and Teaching, Associate of Science, and Associate of Fine Arts. Hello, I'm Dr. Chris DeGeer, Dean of Instruction. Dr. Comiskey, these candidates, having completed the requirements established by Jefferson College, are recommended by the faculty to you for their certificates or associate degrees. In accordance with this recommendation, and by the authority of the Jefferson College Board of Trustees, I confer upon you the respective certificate or associate degree with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereto.
Aside from the list of over 800 graduates you've just seen, each year, associate degree students who graduate with the highest scholastic standing are acknowledged for their outstanding scholarship achievement. These graduates all have a perfect 4.0 grade point average. Additionally, we are pleased to recognize several other groups of distinguished students, including graduates of the Honors Program, our early college graduates who earned their associate degree while simultaneously attending high school, those who earned a certificate with distinction, and those who earned academic honors as cum laude with grade point average of 3.5 to 3.79, magna cum laude with a grade point average of 3.8 to 3.99, and summa cum laude with a grade point average of 4.0. Congratulations to each of these outstanding 2020 graduates.
Congratulations, class of 2020. As a symbol of your passage from student to graduate, if we were celebrating as a group, you would turn your tassel from the right to the left, signifying you are now a graduate of Jefferson College. In fact, if you're wearing your cap now, feel free to do so. All of us at Jefferson College are proud to have had the opportunity to teach you and learn from you. As you continue your journey, we hope that your experiences at Jefferson College have inspired you, inspired you to continue to learn and share your knowledge, and inspired you to pursue your goals with confidence and optimism. You join over 25,000 extraordinary alumni who use their Jefferson College education in pursuit of careers, professions, and further knowledge. We have every confidence that just as you have overcome numerous hurdles to be where you are now, you will make your way through the challenges of tomorrow. The entire Jefferson College family of faculty, staff, and administration join us in celebrating your new beginning. Before we end our virtual ceremony, I want to thank those who submitted photos for the slideshow that is to follow, and please remember to share your photos and videos from today's celebration on social media using hashtag JeffCoGrad. We also extend an invitation for you to join the 2021 commencement ceremony in person next spring. Additional details will be shared with you, so please make sure to keep your correct address on file. Once again, congratulations to the class of 2020. Good luck to each of you. You're forever a part of the Jefferson College family. <laughs>